Hello everyone and welcome back to CRGTR channel and this will be the last video in the series how to draw a comic or manga page with Medibank 10 Pro Okay, this video I will show you guys some tips and tricks that I always use when I uh, work and color and drawing manga comic uh, in Medibank 10 Pro The first thing is that uh, you want to create the speed bubble, okay? And you uh, already have the material. Um, this one in the item in material box of the Medibank Pen Pro. But what if there's some uh, speed bubble that you can find this one, and you want to create uh, one? So there will be some tips and tricks for you guys to create a speed bubble, okay? So just imagine that you have the uh, kind of like the speed bubble this will be uh, like this but there's have none in this in the, the material so how to create this one so here is the way I create this one first you can draw it yeah just like the way I just did or else you would use the snap in here that's really perfect for you guys just use the curve snap and drag it to the place that you want to make it like this one and then double click to connect all of them together in here and then you use the pen tool to draw this one then turn the snap off and you are done to create the speak bubble that's it and when you are done here you see that when it moves in here it won't have the whiting inside so just create a new layer that under the layer you just create and okay I will move it to here so you can see it um, better to this place okay and now you use the wand tool you see the with the wand tool here and then use the fill tool here to fill the white color to this one and that will create the white things for this one and of course there's still some part that the white is not rich cannot cover it Remember that you will fill the one and the white things in the layer you just created layer 30 here, okay? Yeah, this one and then use the pen to fill all the blank space of the speak ball here. And then here. Then you merge two layer together and you are done create the speak bubble with the whiting inside just the same as the material in here and if you want to zoom in and zoom out just you uh, transparency the transform just use the transform tool here to uh, zoom in and zoom out to create it make it bigger or smaller yeah like this one so that's it the first thing you can do but if you want to have some type of effect uh, speak bubble uh, kind of like this like thinking you can use this one use the snap circle snap here and then use the burst then you would choose the speed one where is that okay the speed line I need to show the brush review okay that's one will be perfect and then holding control or command at the middle of the circle here and then use the color and this is how you create this one yeah really quick right or, or maybe you want to do something else you want to add more detail for this one just continue to do like this So uh, with this circle, you can create more things in here. And I remember the staple pen here. You can do the same with the staple pen, like this, or 
that will be the staple pen, let's say staple pen 3 holding control command to create the middle point here and then you will create this one perfect right so there's really a lot of things in here just have fun with the uh, snap go with the brush in here you can make the petal look in the circle with this one and the brush like this yeah is it okay too? It just depends on your choice. You can create many spectacles you want just with the snap, the cuff stone here, uh, and with the brush, just go with that. So that's it, the tricks that I always use when I want to create a spectacle that they don't have in here in Medibank Pen Pro. And uh, in case that you want to make the pointy for the spectacle here, like you have a dialogue with this one, right? And you see that there are no pointy things for to show who's talking, right? Uh, so I will just go to the layer and to rasterize the material here. Then I go back with the pen. Okay, and choose black. Then I will erase a part in here. Draw it. Like this one. Fill all the part like this, and you have a new speak bubble like this one. So, the second thing that's how to create the um, background in comic or manga. Yeah, if you want to create a background, I recommend that you will use that and create the background in the different. Um, different page different file uh, as i said that you maybe we use that again and again so that will help you a lot but if in case that uh, there will have a character that involved in the background you better create with the uh, characters in here so i always do like that i will create a new page that you better choose the page that the uh, white is bigger than the head and okay so with that one now you will create the new background so I will talk a little bit about the perspective, how to draw the background a little bit and that's uh, after I done this one, this will be the end of the series, okay? And here you must remember the one thing before you create the background that is where will be the horizon line. That means uh, in another word, you can see that it's kind of meaning like uh, where is the skyline, okay? So what kind of skyline when I starting to learn about the perfect state and about the background I kind of confused about the skyline yeah like the horizontal line in the end here and a lot of things where you will point here and when we will put the skyline here so you just amazing like this here that the authors in here okay and this is our eyes really cute okay and now when you put the camera to filming the character acting something and put it in the panels so the camera here will point a straight line to this one is horizontal and from another view that is kind of like this if I put in another view that this one in the middle of our eyes that will be the skyline so that means where you're looking at our eyes decide the eye that we are looking at that will be the skyline so what happened if you are here you stand here and you put the camera pointing down here will the skyline will be around here no it's still in the middle of your eyes yeah your eyes in here and just just draw the horizontal line here and that will be the skyline and everything here pointy perfectly vanishing point will be around on the skyline here and that in case if you want to change the skyline so that means usually the skyline will be around this part because we're looking in the middle of the paper right so the skyline will be in the middle what if the skyline will put under here that means you see that like we will lie down to the floor like this okay and that's why the skyline will be under and in other meaning that if you see the skyline is up around here then that means you will see that we are here and filming in with the chair and that's it the skyline 
So if you put it in the background involved with the characters in here, you see that okay, I will draw the sky around here. And this is our character. Let's see the eye. Yeah. So if you put all uh, imagine that all the character in here is have the same height, and you see that they all will have the same skyline that the same in the eyes okay and I will draw a more character here and if I choose this one vanishing point here put it in the skyline and this is where the fit is that means the character here also has a fit on the line here and you can see how the character is smaller and smaller at the end of the background so that is how the perspective work, right? The things that near you will be bigger than the things in further. So the same here, when you draw the building with the line like this one, you will create the vanishing point. So with that one, you can create the building. right but the building is here you can see that the building is too small the building is too small because your character is kind of too tall and it's my our character like a giant right a huge a, a, a huge pupil and the building is for the dwarfs yeah kind of like this so that's why you might thinking when your character involves in here like you have the door right here so that's mean your character will be around here just small like this one so what problem is here that our character that have the skyline here that mean the eyes you think that the eyes of the character is here so mean that you would think that the doors will be the same height with the character so you must increase the tone of the buildings and have one more thing in here you can see because you create the vanishing point here and you let it into the end uh, at the skyline here you will see that like there is no end for the uh, the road yeah so that's why in when you finish your drawing maybe you want to erase some part like there's a horn okay and there will be a wand around here yeah like this one and there will be a window you know, like this and now you have the background with the classroom and the door is around here uh, with the name of the class in this like uh, one age same in the Japan and your character is standing here you see that's how we create the background and put your character in drawing with the perspective and uh, snap zoom of the medibank they are provide us for working like this so just thinking about the skyline where you put it and put the vanishing point to there and yeah, you maybe you want to go go and just more about the perspective you can see that we can create more than one per, uh, vanishing point and to create with that uh, like you can go up to three uh, vanishing point uh, to create the interesting look for the background like you know we can create a tall building like this one but this building you will look from the side so that's why you think you see that this one that will connect to a vanishing point at the top here and this one they will connect to the vanishing point around here and another vanishing point around here that's make three vanishing point create the buildings in here and this look is make the um, the thing the object is huge and really big yeah and it makes everything look interesting so just think about one thing that when you're looking up everything will look really big and if you're looking down like this one like you are from the sky and everything will be smaller you see the feeling and the eyes will trick us about this so thinking about this when you put the background in the uh, story in your comic page to make everything look interesting and go with your idea what your intention to do yeah 
So that is all about this video. If you have any more questions about creating manga or comic, I will find time to make the videos about this one to answer all of you guys. So thank you for watching and this is the end of the series. I hope can you can see your comics in futures. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.